One of the most renowned performers of his day, James Edmund Kahn was an athletic youngster from the Bronx and the son of German-Jewish immigrants. As he grew older, he began to play rough cinematic characters like sailors, football players, and criminals. One of his official Twitter accounts announced his passing on July 6. Additional information wasn't offered. Most notably recognized for his electrifying performances as Sonny Corleone in The Godfather and as a dying professional football player in the made-for-TV film Brian's Song, for which he received nominations for an Oscar and an Emmy, respectively. Khan lent an eminently watchable machismo to numerous movies and television programs. He played a prominent writer who was held hostage by Kathy Bates in the movie Misery. In Gardens of Stone, he played a heartbroken Vietnam veteran who was grudgingly manning the tomb of the unknown soldier. He portrayed a type-defying role as the father of the main character in Elf and a struggling children's book publisher. Khan began his career in theater and television before bursting onto the Hollywood scene like a comet. He appeared in films by some of the most well-known auteurs of the day, including Howard Hawks' El Dorado, Robert Altman's Countdown, and Francis Ford Coppola's The Godfather, The Rain People. His early explosion of success was followed by a period of turbulence, both personally and professionally. Khan had several marriages and divorces, got into fights on the set, and was candid about his struggles with depression and drug abuse. Kramer vs. Kramer, Apocalypse Now, M asterisk A asterisk S asterisk H, and One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest were just a few of the movies he turned down in favor of ideas that ended up being box office duds. The New York Times quoted him as saying in 1991, there are photos I made that I still haven't seen. In the middle of some of these photographs, I kept asking, what am I doing here, as if you're stuck in a hallway and unable to leave. I was depressed when I was creating these. Misery helped turn things around. The former athletes spent much of the 1990 movie tied to a bed. Khan also anchored the movie emotionally. His actorly range was immense. He performed in song and dance films such as Funny Lady and For the Boys but also in dark, serious films such as Dogville by Danish auteur Lars von Trier. In animated appearances on Family Guy and The Simpsons, Khan continued to work steadily until he passed away, portraying grandparents, colonels, and inevitably, himself. NBC's Las Vegas, stars as Magic City and the brief-lived ABC sitcom, Back in the Game, are just a few of the recent television programs in which Khan has appeared. Over the course of his career, Khan acted in nearly 100 films. He also appeared in the films, Funny Lady, Rollerball, Gardens of Stone, Things to Do in Denver When You're Dead, Mickey Blue Eyes, The Yards, and That's My Boy, in 1975.